Hey, what's going on fellow gaming minions in different surroundings? I'm in my front room for today for my wonderful, amazing haul of pickups videos. I don't know how long this video is going to be and I've only got limited time to actually do them. So, without enough jibber jabber, you're here for to see what my amazing retro shopping haul was about. Obviously, I call it retro shopping because I, you know, it's just pickups video basically, but I'm going to involve other games that are not so retro into this. So, here we are. Start with the first game. Sonic Generations. This didn't cost me a penny because I actually, my missus actually gave this to me this week actually. I've never really seen, I've actually seen gameplay of it. I think I played it for about two minutes and I rather enjoyed it. I forgot which console was it on. Was it the 360 or something? Oh, I can't remember. But Sonic Generations for the 3DS is something that I actually look forward and eager to actually playing and see what the game's about. Never really gone wrong with any Sonic games and I still got to play Sonic 06, a game that was renownedly awful but I'll decide that if I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. Next game. The Chronicles of Narnia. It's about Narnia, mate. This lion, witch, and wardrobe sort of nonsense. My partner's next door actually playing it right now and having quite of an experience, if I could say the least. This game only cost me 50 pences. 50 pences. I've not even seen the film, so I'm not really bothered about the game, but it looks quite fun. Okay, for 75p, we've got an Assassin's Creed game, and it's Brotherhood. The amazing, awesome Assassin's Creed game, bruv. Never played Brotherhood, I don't think so, anyway. But it's nice to get it for 75 pence, as well as 30 or 40 smackaroonies when it actually was released. See, wait a few years, and the price goes down. Nothing wrong with that. Why get it on release? I'm not missing out on anything. Technically, I am. The experience of just wasting more money. But I'm, I'm still, I can still enjoy the game overall, whether I get it on... 20 years from now, or when it's released. Yeah. The next one is an Elder Scrolls game. I've never played this one, believe it or not. Oblivion. Oblivion! Mm. Yeah! Oblivion. Never played it. My mates actually enjoyed it. They said they prefer it more than that to Skyrim. But, obviously Skyrim was the first Elder Scrolls game I played, but doesn't mean to say that my... Uh, my experience with Skyrim outshines Oblivion because it came because that came first. No, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, here we are. We've got the knuckle-headed rapper. Fifty cent. Yeah, fifty cent. You knucklehead. I think this was his second game. I think it was. I heard reviews about this. <laughs> fifty cent blood on the sand. How much of a toss mosh he was. So that's going to be an interesting game to actually play on the PlayStation Three. I've always wanted to give it a try to at least bash fifty cent. So. Depending on how he acts in this game and what goes on in it, or PS3, I'm going to see for myself if it's a game worth doshing about. Another Assassin's Creed game here. Rogue. I thought I played this one. What's this one about? I've not played that one at all. 18th century North America. North America, bro. In it, in it, Gav. Rogue. I've, uh, well, I've yet to play this. This one only cost me five smackaroonies. That's not bad, is it? Five quid makes me think that game should be at least good if it still costs that much for the PlayStation 3. A sexy video game of legends right here. Spyro the Dragon. Le Dragons. They still exist, especially in this sexy pure form. This game was the bee's knees back in the day of the amazing PlayStation 1. For those of you that have played it, you know what I'm talking about. I think I remember playing um, a colour version and a black and white version. I think my cousin had the black and white version and someone else had the colour version or was it the other way around? One of the two. And I got a bit confused and I thought uh, it was also to do with like either chips, PS1 or, or certain copies released from Japan and things like that. It was all different because I didn't care about the tech wise. I just wanted to care about the games. That's all I cared about. A game that cost me £1.50 smackaroonies. Uh, Duke Nukem forever, mate. You better nuke someone. I'm telling you that right now. I've got plenty of people who I wish you could do that too. Uh, last time I played the Duke Nukem game, I think it was actually PS1. I think that was the first one I played, I believe it was actually called Land of the Babes. And the Duke Nukem game for that, well, keep that game away from the SJW feminist Nazis out there. Trust me. Uh, uh, I heard about this game, The Evil Within, and it cost me five smackaroonies. The Evil Within uh, looks alright as you go into the mind of a madman. Pretty much like me then, isn't it? You want to stay out of there, bruv. Let's go to this pile actually. Go to the PS2 pile. Hyper Street Fighter 2. Four smackaroonies for this game. Right? Yeah. So let me tell you about Street Fighter. It's an awesome game series. I don't care what anyone says. It's awesome. Accept it. This game looks pretty fun. 
here come new challengers from what I'm actually seeing on the um, images here. It looks like it's got yeah, games from the SNES era and just after that. But still, celebrating 15 years. Obviously, when this game came out, it probably had a, a compilation of Street Fighter games, which should be quite fun. What's this one? Oh, a game that cost me four smackaroonies again. I've never played these. And I don't know why I'm starting at number two, but I couldn't find number one. Dark Souls 2. Apparently Dark Souls or Demon Souls, I don't know which other Souls game it was, but this links to, if anything, if it's going to be like the Infinity Gem about Souls, that will be good that I've got a soul. Many people haven't got a soul out there. This ain't the soul train. Dark Souls, never played it. Apparently it was really hard and difficult, but I need to see exactly what they meant by that because I've played some rather difficult games. If this was made to be difficult, good. Unless it's difficult by the standards of people where they're too used to being handheld by a lot of games these days, which is pretty much the case in certain cases, then yeah, it will be by the odds. Now, what's this one? The God of War Collection 1 and 2. Yeah, my Kratos. Sexy. Uh, believe it or not, I've never played them. There you go. Never played them. And I'm going to enjoy myself to actually see what these games were about. I think what I really wanted to do is wait for the price to go down. I waited a bit too long to get involved in the God of War games. I love my Greek mythology. It's not just based on the games where these games are massively popular and or awesome and all that, but I love my Greek mythology. That's, those are the sort of things that have always interested me, especially in games involving the Greek gods and all the titans or any Greek characters like Medusa, Kratos, not Kratos, um, Ares, Poseidon, Zeus, things of that nature. This ought to be awesome. Uh, uh, another one, God of War 3. How much that cost? How much that cost me? 10 smackaroonies, which isn't too bad actually. But for two games, not bad. So I thought, yeah, go and get it. Um, God of War 3, £3.50. 3.50 smackaroonies. Look at your eye. Yeah, he's looking at you. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Is that Medusa? No, I can't see. Good stuff, good stuff. Another game which I have yet to play, which many of you may be thinking you're an idiot, but still, I've got it in my collection now, so there you go. The Last of Us. And it cost me six smackaroonies. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Last of Us, I look forward to trying. So, obviously, there was a lot of um, <laughs> stigma attached between the new movie, well, it was new, Logan at the time, and this, there was sort of some similarities. So now that I've actually watched Logan numerous times, because it's a flipping awesome film, this game, I look forward to trying. I've seen the early gameplay of it, the first stage, I think it was the first stage, after the breakout happened and things like that. If you haven't played the game, no spoilers. But in any case, I'm going to look forward to playing that game. How much record on the time have I got left? Uh, I've got, yeah, I've got a long time left. Right, God of War Ascension. I don't know what that one is, but I said I think this is a prequel, apparently. Legend of Kratos is born in this prequel to the best-selling God of War series. Oh, okay, so it's a prequel second before. Five smackaroonies, bruv. What are you going to do about it? Not bad, eh? I love looking for bargain-type prices on games. Really awesome. All right, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly cost me six smackaroonies and everything, right? There's nothing you can do about it. It cost me six smackaroonies for the PlayStation 2. I don't even think I've played that one. Uh, I had a PlayStation 2, but I never had a Spyro the Dragon game, which is absolutely unfortunate. Now, this is the only video game I have bought just not too long after the release date. This was the closest game ever when I actually bought, back when I was a teenager as well, that I could actually say, yeah, not too long after its release, I bought it. James Bond, everything or nothing. This game was, I played this a lot. I loved this game, I still do actually. All those Bond moments, all those little gadgets, completing it again and again and again. I could never, I remember playing this on the demo on the PlayStation 2, right? This was a really good experience. Playing this on the demo, you know, back when demos were actually fun playing, I guess they still are now, is that um, when I played this, I was hooked on the demo alone. I think you, you had a choice, was it two levels? One of them involved a, a mission where you jump out of a building and you're on a slip rope or something and you're going all the way down to the bottom chasing a train. And I think another level was some little uh, marketplace area, I think it was, and you just shoot your way through. 
This game, Everything or Nothing, was just absolutely awesome. It is two player and it is co-op, which is brilliant. So that should be good for some videos as well. Oh yeah, I've still got a lot more games there. Well, trust me, when I say I've got a haul, I'm not joking it. Uh, I could have got more, but I think I ran out of uh, <laughs> a bit of cash. Uh, 007 Legends James Bond. Hoorah. Calm down. 007 James Bond Legends. Never played it. The last video game, James Bond game I played um, in the modern era, but, 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 but I think was Nightfire or Agent Under Fire. One of those two. Right. And uh, this looks good because it looks like it's got things from a Die Another Day, License to Kill, uh, what's that, On Her Majesty's Secret Service. And what's that one? Goldfinger and Moonraker. I think that was uh, Roger Moore's Moonraker back in the good old um, days of Bond. I think that was Roger Moore's Moonraker. Die Another Day was Pierce Brosnan. Uh, Her Majesty's Secret Service was... Was it Timothy Dalton? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm not too sure which one was that one. Goldfinger, I assume, was Roger Moore. Or was that... Uh, what's his name? Uh, like Sean Connery. I don't know. It might have been. Who knows? Licence to Kill, I'm not too sure I've not seen that one. I'm a fan of my Bond films, I do like my Bond films. Okay, we... <laughs> I just got this game because I just wanted it in my collection, but I'll give it a try. Britney's Dance Beat. Britney Spears. Yeah, mate! Only cost me 50 pence. It's not too bad, is it, mate? Not bad for a game. Britney Spears was the bee's knees back in the day, but I just wasn't really into her music. But she was a pretty much loved artist and stuff like that. Don't really hear for much uh, these days. Well, at least I don't, because I don't really care about celebrity gossip or celebrity life. Air Ranger Rescue. Beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. You're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh! Uh, 50 pence. Not bad. Uh, Air Ranger Rescue. It makes me wonder obscure titles like this that are just sort of out in the ordinary. That's what I loved about the PlayStation 2 library. There were so many different games that didn't take themselves too seriously, but at least they could sell something. I love stuff like that. A game which I've not played yet. I don't think I've even got this one. Not even the first one. Onimusha 2. Uh, I, judging by it, it looks like you play as a samurai, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. In fact, am I wrong? Uh, no, actually, I'm not wrong. <laughs> you, have play, you, can, you can play as a samurai, I believe. But these games I I like because I think the very first samurai stealth game I played, where you play as some sort of a ninja, was Tenchu on the PlayStation 1. And Tenchu, for the most part, was bloody good. I actually loved it. Playing it around my cousin's house, getting involved in it, swell, loved it. Being all sneaky and stuff, as well as just running out into the open. Now that game was actually quite fun. A bit quirky with the graphics, but still, I loved it. Army Men, major malfunction, which cost me two, two pound, two pound. Army Men. I don't think I've even played the one in the N64. I do like the Army Men, though. I was the first introduced to the little army dudes when I watched the film Toy Story, which was absolutely fun. Okay, Assassin's Creed 3. Right, £1.50. Yeah, I look forward to playing the Assassin's Creed games in their chronological order. And then I might make a top 10 if there is 10 games. I'm not too sure there's been so damn many of them, so I wouldn't put it past it. How many more minutes have I got to record? Okay, Sonic Riders. Not played it. Sonic Riders, so yeah, this looks like one of those fun racing type games which I could actually get involved in with the, you know, amazing Sonic-ish characters, if you know what I'm talking about. Do you understand English? I'm not speaking English. I don't speak any language. Don't talk to me. Anyway, yes. Uh, oh, this game's racist. This one's racist. Black. It's racist. Look at the title. Black. Look at the back image shots. Nothing but blackness. Two Smackaroonies. I've not played black. Looks pretty cool. Looks like a first person shooter. But it doesn't look like one. That, I don't know. I can't judge it just yet to see if it's going to be some sort of like like anything else. Unless it's out in the ordinary. Or something it's going to surprise me with. America's 10 Most Wanted. And you know, I'm pretty sure they've got a picture of me on that to be honest. So yeah. I've not played that. But judging by the title I assume you're an assassin. Or you're taking out some of the most wanted criminals in America. Yeah, this looks all right. Yeah, you do take them out and how to get them quickly, secret keep of organisations and all that kind of rubbish. There we go. Move those over. Make sure they fall on the floor. No, they'll be fine. What's this one? Orphan, Scion of Sorcery. I have not played this. I never knew of its existence. 
free smackaroonies, not too bad. And uh, have those? Have you been pricing these games up at all? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, looks like an anime type of game, so I look forward to trying that, to be honest. What's this one? Age of Empires 2, The Age of Kings. Uh, I'm guessing this is one of those top-down type games, so uh, it only cost me £2.50, which is not too bad, I, I suppose. I've got to give it something like that, but Age of Empires is probably, it probably reminds me of those Command and Conquer type games, which is quite good, actually, because those games are really strategical thinking, as well as just run and gunning. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, I need to put my elbow in some ice. I'll put it here. Even better. Legendary game right there. Right. Ah, uh, 50 Cent. Never heard of this game. Apparently it was really good though. Bulletproof. Yeah, the game may be entitled Bulletproof, but you can't really say the same for 50 Cent regarding his history of bullets. Especially going around his mouth and all through his body. Unlucky, mate. Now, I think out of all the games, this one, I was hunting for. My next game I was hunting for. And I was hunting for it for many, many years for the GameCube. And it was actually this one. All-Star Baseball for the PS2. <laughs> of course it wasn't. Uh, but 50p for All-Star Baseball. Yep, uh, it's just baseball. Should be fun. Do, 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 do. It was in fact Super Smash Brothers Melee. Cost me 32 smackaroonies, 32 smackers, and I thought, you know what? Get it. If anyone else picks that up, I'll nick it from their hands. Of course, no one did. Didn't want to start a fight in the shop. So I got it as soon as I saw it. And obviously, being at this price, people may be thinking, I want to get it, but I can't. Or oh, it's a bit too much. I wait for it to go down in price. Melee. This was one of the Nintendo GameCube's finest video games. I mean, I remember only playing it for about 10 minutes at someone who I used to know's house when I went all the way up north, about a six hour drive, right? Only to play for about 10 minutes because I had to go all the way back down to London where I was living at the time. Six hour drive plus traffic, uh, that was annoying. Super Smash Bros. Melee is something I've always been eager and wanting to play. They played this for many years at one of those tournaments. And this game had amazing brawlers on it. They still do now, but this one was the Omega Bee's knees back in the day. Massively. Oh, I've got a babe. I've got a babe. Yep, there's my babe right there. <laughs> 50p, not bad. Hang on, yeah. Nice manual and everything, 50p, it's absolutely gorgeous. With Babe, you've got, I remember seeing the film Babe in the City. That film brought me a little tear to my eyes because I didn't actually like the way the animals were being treated in that. Especially that little doggy on the little wheelchair, the dog chair. That was, that was so sad that was. I actually did not like the film when I was emotionally getting involved in it, but I loved it. It was actually a good film, I, I liked it. Thank the pig. Oh, a, I don't know why I got this on PS2, I should have got this on Dreamcast, but Soul Calibur 2 only cost me two pounds. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Soul Calibur will always be my favorite Soul Calibur, the first one. Before that, it was actually Soul Blades on the PS1. That one is absolutely up there. But um, Soul Calibur 2, apparently, you can play as Link, and yeah, I'm sure you can, unless that's only on the GameCube version. Different versions, you can only have different characters, but this one, I'm not too sure, but still. I'm gonna give this one a try and see how it fares up as a sequel to the first one. If the second one even came out on the Dreamcast, I can't remember if it did or not. Uh, right, Auto Modelista. What the heck? Oh, it's a car racing game, and it cost me six smackaroonies. And judging by the price compared to racing games these days on a PS2 now, this must be good. At least I'm hoping so. <sighs> a lot more games here, man. You're putting the games all the way over there for your mug. Okay. Brave, the search for Spirit Dancer. Never seen it, but it reminds me of one of those characters from uh, Pixar or D Disney's characters. Um, not like Mulan or something like that. Someone else. I actually kind of thought Pocahontas, probably. I think it was Pocahontas, something like that. Mulan was Asian. Um, what's this one? <sighs> seen this one. Hope I didn't. I have to be very careful with all these games that you've seen me pick up right now in terms of the titles because I didn't want to buy the same game twice. That would have been like a waste of money. Okay. Brothers in Arms, Road to the Hill 30. 
This game caught my eye many years ago after it came out, but obviously being on at the time and it was actually a 16 plus, I couldn't just go into a shop and just buy it because they would want to do and all that. You know, I don't know they've got their jobs to do, but still. <sighs> right. Assassin's Creed game. Yep, you got this in there. I don't think I played this one either. I think I did. Revelations. How much did I pay for that? 75p? 75p for Revelations? I don't even know where you are in this one. Two Assassins, one Destiny. I don't know, I think I have played this one. So it's 1511 AD. And that's, that's not too long. Mm, that's only a couple of hundred years after I was born. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alex Ferguson, player manager, 2001. Here we go. Yada, yada, yada. I got this game spe specifically just for collection purposes. Obviously, I've got to give respect to a manager who bought the um, Premier League club of English football, Manchester United, so much glory and stuff, but I'm glad he's gone. Yeah. Every time he went to a match, you can always see him eating chewing gum. Honestly. I want Hubba Bubba is not around anymore. It's still around, but still. Okay, Area 51. I remember seeing this, but I never thought I'd actually even get it. But, looks all right. Aliens, Area 51, and all that secret stuff. So yeah, that looks like a good game. I don't even know what it's about. Probably an alien, not Area 51, who knows? Obviously, the 187 Ride or Die. This looks good, but a pound? I don't know. Looks like one of those racing games you can just shoot people in. I like cars with guns in it. That's good stuff, that. Really awesome stuff. Ride or Die, yeah, it looks like one of those uh, fun type uh, multiplayer games where you just get to race and carry machine guns about. Good stuff. I'm almost at the end, guys. I'll do forgive me. Oh, goodness me, man. Uh, 50p, Alter Echo. Uh, okay, uh, I don't know what this is about. But again, this is one of those games that I look forward to trying. It's an altered world, learn to adapt. If you play as a cyborg machine, or if you play as an alien, all these games added in, they're just gonna be absolute fun to play. Uh, just pretty much a game that's pretty much self-explanatory here. 10 pin bowling. 10 pin bowling, I like 10 pin bowling. I've uh, got a few strikes. I think the most I've had was a turkey, which is three strikes in a row of actually doing it. And um, I was actually doing really well. I never stayed to, one sort of way how I try to get those. I always like trying to find different ways in a serious game where I shouldn't be doing it, which is left the ball going down the gutter, gutter ball, or just hitting one or two pins. 10 pin bowling, I love the games like this. Nice and simple, pure family fun. What's this one? American Chopper 2, full throttle. I've got a chopper. Uh, American Harley bikes or something like that. I love those type of bikes, but this looks quite fun. You're on the hot seat and Paul SR wants it done now. Play as Paul Senior, Paulie, Mike, or Vinny and experience all the pressure and drama of the hit TV show. Oh, it was a TV show, American Chopper. Okay, for those of you wonderful Americanos out there, you probably know about what this is referring to. Obviously, I don't really watch TV anymore, so. What's this one? ATV Off Road Fury. I'm pretty sure this is like a quad bike type of game, so this should be quite fun to be playing. Uh, yeah, I think I played a few games on the PS2 that had some sort of funness with games like this, which was absolutely good. I, can't remember, I, think you, I think one of the games I remember, you were actually on bikes and you can kick them off like a road rash type style. I don't know what game that was, but I'm going to flipping look for it because I want to play it again. Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the first one. I played the first one. I had it on the Wii, actually, because I remember I wanted to get it on the Wii simply because I wanted to use the Wii Nunchuck, uh, sorry, the Wiimote, when I'm using a lightsaber, because actually at the time, and with this game being heavily advertised the way it was, was I loved it. I thought this game was absolutely brilliant. So split with the story, with the way you can just do things. And plus it's Star Wars, man. It is flipping Star Wars. Felt like it was in canon. I'm gonna count this as canon, actually, to be honest. It was just absolutely amazing. Star Wars games usually are. Oh yes, you can already hear the beat. Bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? When Sheriff John Brown comes for you. I have seen the film Bad Boys 2, right? And it was actually pretty good. I didn't watch the first one because I haven't got around time to seeing it. But I remember when Bad Boys 2 came out, I wanted to watch it and my mate, at the time when I was living in London, he said, 
you've got to watch the first one to understand it. I'm kind of thinking, mate, in my head, I was thinking, if I want to watch number two, I want to watch it. It's not for you to just say, I'm going to get grips with the story and understand it. I can watch number one at any time. If I watch number two, maybe it might make me want it to watch number one. You don't know how my mind works, if I want, how I want to watch DVDs and films. So, I want to watch it. I've got the game now. So, Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, I loved it. The Amazing Awesomeness, which was the amazing Star Wars Battlefront number two. I've got to do a back-to-back -back on the first Battlefront and this one. In fact, there's a video coming for it, but I've got it under a different sort of playlist title in terms of it being a back-to-back -back type thing. So, Star Wars Battlefront 2 was the bee's knees, man. Tell you that right now. I knock you out. No, I wouldn't really, but this is sexiness on a bloody disc. Incarnated. Almost done, people. Almost done. Just got a few more games. Tekken 4. Recently had and played Tekken 7. Wasn't a big fan. Played it on my Xbox One. Nah. This one, though, never played it. Looks good. Looks like it's got Eddie Cordo in it. Yeah, judging by one of these image shots. I love the names in Tekken as well. It's really, really awesome. Really good stuff with Tekken games. I'm not, I missed Tekken 3 on the PlayStation 1. I think that and the first Tekken were the first ones I was actually introduced to, which is bloody kick ass. How much recording time have I got? I've got a tiny bit of time left, but I've only got a few games to do left anyway. Commandos 2, Men of Courage. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Never played it. Never heard of it. So this is really good. 50 pence. That's what it cost me. What are you looking at? Looks grumpy, doesn't he? He's learning how to smile, mate. What's this one? I told you I've got a massive haul of games. Told you. Uh, battle Constructive Construction Vehicles. This looks good. Looks like one of those uh, a Bob the Builder type video games. Well, I love it if it's quirky. It's got humour to it and it should be a lot of fun should be and I'm imagining it would be. Uh, Airblade. I've never played any Airblade sort of type games. The last probably game I sort of played something, something probably resembling this was uh, Freestyle on the Dreamcast. Um, you know, where you go around on hoverboards and in the future and all that. I've never seen this. Uh, 24, the game. Apparently this was actually good. Uh, I look forward to seeing your TV series maybe sometime. So that's going to be pretty good. So I've got to get a move on here. What of the recording time and everything. I don't want to make this video too, too long. Game that cost me 50 pence. Bust a block, which reminds me of that old school game where you just move the little block at the bottom and keeping the ball up in the air, smashing blocks. I forgot what that game was called, cool, but that game was absolute fun. Right, my last two games here. Right. I look for, I'm have a look forward to trying this one, which is Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. I haven't played that one. I haven't played a Resident Evil game for ages on the PS2, so I look forward to trying that one. And for the last but not least, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Yeah, there you have it. There's all my wonderful video game hauls. Now, those video games, okay, just for price uh, price reasons, those video games, along with a new PS1 I bought, because my other one was not playing the games properly, um, and the PS1 memory card I bought with it, and maybe a few other bits and pieces. Not much. Yeah, all of that came to the other day was 215 pounds and 50 pence. So if I'm gonna include the retro games I bought this week as well, before, then that's gonna be over, over 230 I'd say, over 230 at least. Thank you very much for watching my wonderful retro shopping haul, ladies and germs. Right? Gaming minions across the globe. You take good care of yourselves. If you've got any affiliation with any of these games, let me know. Let's share some memories, share some comments and stuff. What game looks interesting to you the most? <sighs> May retro gaming live on. I'm going to enjoy these. See these excitement? I can't wait. PS2, bruv. PS2 for the win, FTW.